Okay, um, it's been a very, very long time. I think September was the last time I put a video up. A lot's been going on. Um, this, I will show you here again, is my camper. And what we just did today, you really can't tell because you can't see the roof, but we just put a rubber coating on the roof to help seal it to get it ready. Um, I did buy a piece of property. The one that I was looking at that I talked about last year ended up not happening. Uh, the lady died or something. I don't know. We just never were able to get that established. So I did buy um, 2.8 acres in the southern tier. And uh, I should be closing on that property in a month. And what the game plan is, is um, we're going to get the camper down there. It's uh, someplace else right at the moment, just waiting to get moved. And uh, once uh, we get established on there, then we're going to start this uh, process in uh, being completely free. And that's, a, that's what this more is for me than anything else, is the freedom um, of living completely off-grid. Uh, the property that I'm buying has a little shed on it, or cabin they call it, but it uh, needs a tremendous amount of work. And uh, we're going to use the camper as a home base and work on the other thing as well. And uh, But we'll go over all that in, as time as things get established. Um, I'm excited, scared at the same time because it's a new adventure, obviously. But doing, um, doing this is, for me, it's all about freedom. Given my kids the establishment of not being tied to the system. And uh, again, it's about freedom. And uh, they don't want us to be free. So for me, this is just uh, a little rebellious way of uh, doing my own thing. Um, like I said, I'm excited, nervous, scared at the same time. Anybody that has any suggestions or words of encouragement or ideas once I get there and get going that will help, I do not know everything, okay? I'm just a, a guy that uh, has decided enough is enough and I want to be free, and I'm making the move. So anybody out there, uh, my YouTube friends that uh, have watched my videos in the past, and once I get established, if you have any words of encouragement, help, um, you know, if I'm doing something wrong, believe me, I take constructive criticism very well because I do not know everything. Nobody knows everything. And where somebody may be an expert in one area, you know, that uh, it's going to help me, then I would appreciate that greatly. Um, so this is, uh, you know, again, the camper. Um, just kind of walk around it real quick. And uh, I'm very excited. And uh, we're getting the process going here. And uh, here's the front of it. And um, as far as the rest of my life that's going on, my divorce is almost done, thank goodness. Uh, my daughter has chosen to live with me full time. And I have my son four days a week, and the kids go to school where I'm at. So um, his mother picks him up on Fridays and uh, brings him back in Monday morning for school. And uh, it's worked out really well in that aspect. We've done, you know, well as far as the kids go because the most important thing, of course, is the kids. And, uh, you know, just giving them a, a firm base and, and groundedness that they need. And, uh, you know, that's what I've tried to do. Um, the one thing i got to say that uh, this whole process, and it's weird how everything happens for a reason and everything happens when it should, the one thing that this whole divorce thing has done is it's brought me closer together with the most important thing in this world, and that's my kids. It's always been about my kids and my wife at the time and, you know, my family. But it's just with uh, us going our separate ways, and uh, it just, this whole process has brought me so much closer with my children. that, And I'll never be more thankful for that than anything else. And, uh, you know, but I'm ready for this next chapter of my life. I'm excited, nervous. Uh... Uh, my mother, who has been in Florida for 16 years, moved up here in January, and she lives with me now. And uh, she's going to be part of this adventure as well, and she's excited as well. And she's almost 70 years old. She'll be 70 this year. So uh, next phase of the life is moving closer to realization. Um, as we do the things up at the land and, and get established, um, I'm not exactly her sure how long I'll be where I'm at right now, I'll talk about that more later and uh, and tell you what my plans are. So for right now, this is uh, Prepper Nurse 1 out, and uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And like I said, any kind of uh, ideas that you guys have, feel free. All right? Thank you so much.